Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. Hope you have a great morning. Hope you have a great day. All day. Finally, Friday. Yeehaw. Well, let's get crack lacking. Have you ever noticed people always want to be a different age than they are? Think about that. Young people always want to be older. Old people always want to be younger. Why don't you just think about accepting the age that you're at and just living where you are? I think you'd enjoy life a whole lot more if you did that. Instead of wishing you were something else or a different age or a different person or a different job or different, um, different, 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 just live with what and who you are at the age you're at and then you will truly be happy. When you can accept yourself just the way you are, whatever age it is, whatever height it is, whatever weight it is, whatever size it is, whatever color it is, then you can be happy. Until you do that, until you accept all of you just the way you are, you're not going to be happy. If there's any part of you you don't like, you just won't be happy. You just won't. You can like everything about you except one thing, and you're going to focus on that all the time. And I see it with age all the time. I hear people say, oh, I wish I was a little older. I could do this. I could do that. I wish I was a little younger. I can't do anything anymore. I just, I'm happy to be me. Just happy to be me at the age I'm at. You know, I'm doing great. I'm in good shape. I take care of myself. Exercise, eat right, knock on wood. Uh, I think acceptance is a key for all of it. Just accept who you are and what you are and where you are. Like I said, you're going to be in much better shape. People always want to change something about themselves. They just can never be happy with who they are. Stop watching the damn TV and reading magazines about being perfect. It's not realistic. It's just stuff they want to sell you so they can get you money. You know, if they make you feel like you're not good enough being just the way you are, but their product will magically make you that way, then they get your money. And then they go off laughing and having a good time spending all your money. So think about that, you know. Ads, ads will make you. Hey, you drink this and you'll feel 100% younger and you'll feel better and you take this and you'll lose weight. And uh, It's just ridiculous. It just never ends. It just never ends. Social, I uh, mean, uh, consumerism, it's just crazy what they try to try to tell you so that you'll buy this stuff. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it works and people buy it. So think about accepting you for who you are. You're perfect just the way you are. I mean... If you look around the world, everybody's different. Everybody, everybody is all shapes, sizes, ages, heights, weights, colors. It's what makes the world go around, you know? It's just it's awesome that everybody's a little bit different. That's that's what keeps it all interesting. Uh, you know, I, I know some people that they look like those T V ads and they're perfect and uh then you find out about their life, and it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'd rather have the life I got than kind of go through what they're going through just so that they can look the way they look and be the way they are. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody that's like that, but there's a, there's a good percentage. But everybody's got stuff. Everybody's got stuff. I don't care if you're rich or poor or thin or fluffy or whatever. Everybody's got their stuff in between their ears, and that's where you got to be happy is in between your ears. If you can get happy in between your ears then you're going to be happy with whatever's going on. That's just the truth of the matter. So, hey, how about a little funny for Friday? Let's break it up a little bit. There's a guy bought went out and bought himself a brand new Corvette. He was all excited about it, and he was out trying it out, and he was going down the road a little fast. He was doing about 80, and this cop pulled up behind him, had the blues on. He says, ah, you can't catch me. I got this brand new vet, and he kicked it down again, punched it, and he's doing 120, and he looks in the mirror, and the cop is right on his butt gives it kicks it into high gear and he's going as fast as he can go he's doing 150 miles an hour going down the highway and that cop is right on his butt so he knows he can't lose him so well, i might as well just pull over and take my ticket so he pulls over and this old estate cop gets out and he walks up to the car and he says going a little bit fast there sonny he says listen he says i've been a state cop for 40 years he says i've heard every excuse in the book however if you can tell me a good one that i haven't heard he says i might give you a break today and the guy looked at him he says well the only excuse i got is the truth and the state cop says, what's that? And he says, last week my wife ran off with a state cop. And he says, I thought you was him trying to bring her back. <laughs> so that was the end of that. He didn't get a ticket. Hey, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Over.